you have a newborn baby coming on the horizon and don't know where to begin when it comes to high chairs, cribs, and everything in between, I might have the all-in-one solution for you. Hey guys, Harrison here from Dad Knows Best, and today I wanna to talk to you about the Chico 4-in-1 Baby Hug Crib. Now, when we had Elliot, or should I say when Elliot was on the way, we were searching for, we were looking through different high chairs, different cribs and things like that. So we were looking at a crib to go by the bedside. Then we thought, well, when he's older and he's gonna to need to eat, he's gonna need something to go by the kitchen table. And we also need a bed for him downstairs in the living room while he's still really small. But obviously all of these things start adding up and getting really expensive. I mean, you can spend upwards of two, three, 400 quid on these things when you, when you add them all together. And I don't wanna be spending any money if I don't have to. So I wanna make sure that what I got was valuable and ideally multifunctional, got multi-purpose use uh, and hopefully would last us more than six months. Uh, and that's where the Chico came in. Now I'll use this in air quotes, but this is a four in one baby crib. And I say four in one in air quotes because it's kind of only really two things, but they say it's four things because of two different options. So let me run through what they are first. So first of all, you have the crib option, the horizontal crib. So it lies flat, baby lies in it, fantastic. The, other, the next version up from that is a recliner. So you recline the seat, the baby lies in it, and they're on a slight angle so they can see over the edge of the crib, which is great. Is that two different versions? Not really sure because you can get a crib that, you can get a standalone crib that does the incline and they don't call it a two in one. So, so make of that what you will. And then the other mode is a high chair. So the crib turns into an upright seat and that is the third mode. The fourth mode is a, what they call, I believe is a, a baby's first chair. So it drops to the bottom so they can go and sit in it at a low table if they wanted to. So it says four in one, I kind of see it as two in one, two, two distinctly different versions. Frank, it's a car, L leave them alone. So like I say, when we were looking for something for Elliot before he was born, I wanted to make sure we weren't spending unnecessary money on multiple things, but probably the most important thing was space. Our house isn't huge and when you have a high chair and a crib or two cribs, if you've got one upstairs and one downstairs, all these things start taking up very valuable square footage in our house, which we don't have too much of. The other reason is we've got a little Frenchie. He's a bit of a nutter and he's very boisterous. So we wanted something that we could put Elliot in and keep him out of the way of Frank because Frank doesn't know his own strength or his own weight. So anywhere we could just safely put Elliot just while we needed to do something, whether it's get a, another bottle or anything like that, we could just plop him in there just quickly. So enter the Chico four in one. So we got this from Mothercare. And when we got it, it actually came with an additional mattress as well, a mattress and a cover, which is normally 20 quid. So again, not expensive. The Chico is about 200 pounds. So again, this is quite an investment, but everything says that this should in theory last for up to 36 months. So if you spread the cost out over those 36 months, it's not too bad. And it doesn't make me want to have a heart attack. <laughs> So what do we like about the Chico? Well, the first thing is it's adjustable height. So obviously we have it maxed out most of the time, but the benefit is, is for example, if you wanted to have it in the living room and you needed to sit on the sofa, you can drop it right down or to wherever is comfortable and you still have sight of the baby while he's in the crib and you're in the living room doing what you're doing, whether you watch TV or whatever. And again, on that adjustable note, one of the four modes is the recliner. So you could lower this, you can lower the Chico slightly, recline it a little bit, and then you've got a nice sight onto your baby. And again, once your baby is able to either sit up or is just a little bit older so they can hold their head up, you can strap them in so you keep them safe, and then you can turn it into a upright seat that is still high so they can watch TV, for example. And in our circumstance, he's still at a safe distance from the baby from the dog. Another cool thing about the Chico is it has a built-in light and music player. So when you pop the baby in, you can set that off and away you go. It also comes with some little squishy toys that hang from this as well. I realize I've not got it hung here, but I'll show you those hung. 
And then to move the Chico around, you've got some nice wheels on the base that have got little locks to lock it in place if you don't want it to move, but it is, it coasts quite easily. So we have laminate and tiling. So on our floors, it was perfect. It just slides around everywhere. And then for a bit of added um, reassurance, it feels quite a sturdy piece of kit. Uh, but with that obviously means that it's quite heavy as well. So in our situation, we have a, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we have a baby gate between the kitchen and the living room. So we could, if we wanted to separate the dog from the baby, so we could split the two and put a gate in. But what that means is I was having to lift this thing up, which for me isn't too heavy, but it, it's definitely not light, which I guess is a good thing because you know it's not gonna break and it's not gonna just crumple as soon as you've got a six month old in it. But yeah, that is just something to consider. If you can't wheel it about, or maybe if it's on carpet, it's not necessarily the easiest thing to roll around. I, I can't necessarily vouch for that because we don't have any carpet down here but I imagine it's not gonna be as easy as it is on this tiled floor. So just something to consider there. And then one of the downsides to consider as well with it is it's actually, it is actually quite a big unit, which is understandable because it's a crib that turns into a chair and it needs a wide base so it doesn't topple and it doesn't feel like it's going to topple at all, which is good. But again, that is something we had to really consider when we, when we were looking at it, we were like, is this gonna fit in the house? This is going to need a dedicated space because it also doesn't fold away or, or you can't easily disassemble it to put it away. And at the time, we didn't have the meal kit, which I'll put a link to in the card above because I'll talk about that as well. That is an additional extra. So at the time, we didn't know if we were gonna use it long-term beyond just a crib and a high chair, but without a table. So we were thinking, but if we then need to get a second high chair for the kitchen, it's a big thing that's just gonna be taking up a huge amount of space in our house. So that is something to consider. Now it comes with a thin mattress inside of it just to cushion it from the base. But when we bought it from Mother Care, it actually also got bundled with a mattress as well, a thicker mattress. Um, which I would definitely consider if you if when you buy it, it doesn't come with that definitely consider buying an additional mattress or maybe just some other blankets to add extra lining in because it's not the most comfortable without that so that is again something to consider when it is a small baby and then finally just assembling it was not too difficult the instruction manual comes with I think it's about four pages of instructions so lo loads of different steps to assemble it comes in different bits and bobs not too difficult, although saying that the diagrams themselves weren't necessarily the clearest. So we had to YouTube the assembly. Now I would potentially do a video on how to assemble it, although I don't really want to disassemble it to have to reassemble because again, it wasn't that easy. So once it's up, it's up. We've not had to take it down. We're still using it now. Elliot's nine months. So we've had this thing for nine months and it's still going strong. And that's it, they're kind of the pros and the cons of the Chico 4-in-1 baby hug. It is a sturdy piece of kit with a large footprint, so if you don't have a huge amount of space, it's definitely something to consider. But it is also combining potentially three, two or three different things in the house into one. So for a, for a larger initial footprint, it's only one object. And one other thing to consider as well is, again, like I said before, the, I'll put a link to the meal kit. We, when we bought this, we didn't get the meal kit with it. If we didn't have that, we'd have to transition Elliot to a high chair. So I'd probably recommend at least considering the meal kit. It's an extra 30 quid to go on top. Overall, I'm really happy with the Chico 4-in-1 Baby Hug. It is a sturdy piece of kit. It's multifunctional. It is a bit of an investment, but it's still going strong and hopefully it's gonna last us for the full 36 months. If you are interested in getting hold of one of these Chicos, I'll try and leave a link down in the description below so you can pick one up. If it's not on Amazon, you can usually buy it online from Chico Direct. So again, I'll put the links down below, guys. If you're considering buying one of these or if you've already bought one, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for more good videos coming soon. Cheers.